and they weren't able to get that started yesterday. Their Boutte stands in to lead things off. 316 hitter for the year, seven homers, 22 runs driven in, hits a one hopper that's speared by Avery Hodge, and she throws over to Alina Torres. Bouncing ball. Jennings waits back just a hitch, but is able to easily throw out Kennedy Thomas. He is a pitcher that likes to pound the zone, so it favors up with Houston, but her late break, her late movement is what gets her. What a beautiful diving backhanded stab and throw by Avery Hodge. A spectacular close tonight. Houston's pitching staff's been hit hard by injuries this year. Parker kind of got that one off the end of the bat, but flares it as she slices a single into left field to start this in fifth in hits with 53. Just another remarkable season. Rolls this one past the third baseman, Rollins, who just got a piece of it. And it is back-to-back -back singles for Parker and Jennings in the Sooner first. Brito shows bunt. That ball squirts out of the glove of Coleman. The runners were on the move, and they will easily be able to take a base. So Parker to third. And, and get runners in motion, call some hit and runs, and we just saw the double steal, so there's that aggressiveness coming from Coach Gasso trying to get things moving. And it's a four-pitch walk to Alyssa Brito. Sooners load the bases with... Bouncing ball to first, coming home with it is Cantu to Coleman. They will get the force play and take down the lead runner for the first out. And on the return throw to first, Torres... I meant post-game to ask Coach about it. Hansen slashes this one into right center field. It will plate two. Scoring are Jennings and Brito. So a two-run single to right by Kinsey Hansen, giving Oklahoma a quick 2-0 lead in the first. Ken Smoked into straightaway center field. Thomas is back, but it's over her head. Torres will score. Stopping at third is Kinsey Hansen. And Cassidy Pickering converts. It's pretty full once again at Love's Field. And there's a walk to Avery Hodge. Bases loaded once again for the Sooners. That's the second walk to go along with four. Another payoff pitch rolled to third. Rollin will come home with it, and it's dropped by Coleman. Kinsey Hansen scores, and now sliding not around the tag is Cassidy Pickering. She'll be tagged out by Taria Coleman. And Patty Gasso comes and says, did you get tagged? And I think she said, yes, I did. Coach Gasso immediately, did she tag you? I think Coach Gasso saw the same thing. You could see Pickering go automatically after the slide. Yes, I'm safe. And then after she goes, yeah, no, 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 no. She <laughs> got trying me. to she buy got the call, <laughs> wasn't she? And it looks like Taria Coleman just feeling it a little bit. That was a fantastic diving play. Pickering, she has a lot of speed, caught everyone a little bit off guard. You weren't quite expecting that as soon as the ball slipped out of her glove from Ken Riley Boone. Pops this one up on the infield. The shortstop, Lorenzo, will take it near the bag at third, and the inning is over, but it's a big... It's five. <laughs> you ask Natalie <laughs> Davis to do anything, she will take care of it. She gets camera operator pay for the night, I think, too, as Coleman strikes out. First strikeout for hits, no runs, three walks, and five strikeouts. She went over 100 strikeouts for the season last night. Another excellent play by Avery Hodge to pounce upon that ball and throw out... Sh lot of power in that six spot in the air fairly deep to right center field Riley Boone out there tracks and bangs up against the wall but pulls it in and the inning is over deep fly ball by Cantu swings at the first pitch just as she did in the first inning lifts one to left and it's tracked down by Amanda Carton for the first out and one thing that this... The fifth player in collegiate softball history with 300 runs driven in. Smashes this one on a line to center, but Thomas ranges over and puts away the second out. Expecting. Line down the right field line. Diving is Holsey. It's past her. Rolling to the base of the wall. Brito's got her wheels on. Churning for third. 
and has a triple with two down in the Sooner second. Such a good piece of hitting. Bouncing ball to second. And the inning is over as Aguilar takes care of Torres. Sooners getting two out triple by Brito, but she's left stranded. And it's 4 nothing Oklahoma. Massive team offensively, but may need to kind of rein that in a hair. There's strikeout number two for Nicole May as she fans Bethany Aguilar to begin. She became a Cougar. Second season as the starting shortstop. Swing and a miss, back-to-back -back strikeouts for May and her third of the night. Great change of speeds coming from May. And you can just see her taking everything in and continuing to learn. Nicole May strikes out the side in the fourth, has four strikeouts on the night, and her offense has given her four runs. It is Oklahoma. Back up the middle, backhanded by Aguilar. The throw not in time, and Kenzie Hansen is two for two. Two for two with... The first baseman can to down the right field line into the corner. Patty Gasso waves Kenzie Hansen around third. She will score. The throw comes to third, and Pickering is safe with an RBI triple. Reaches out and pokes this one past Rollin into left. And Avery Hodge drives in a run. Pickering is in to score. Sooners with two runs in the inning. And there's ball four to Lilio. Still nobody out with runners at first and second base and Riley Boone coming to any point. Makes it hard as a defense, makes it hard as a pitcher. Boone smashes this one to left. Picked up on a hop by Butte and hit really so hard that time that Avery Hodge had to stay at third. It's been a little inconsistent coming from Edwards. And there's ball four to force home another run. So Ella Parker gets credit for the RBI on the walk. Avery Hodge. Being able to work through everything. That one slipped out of her hand. It goes backward. Coming in to score will be Quincy Lilio. And Riley Boone goes to third base. For Houston. This is smoked to left field and caught by the lunging Lair Butte. Riley Boone will tag from third and come in to score. That was crushed. That was the first out of the inning. Jennings gets credit for her first RBI of the night. And this one is drilled into left. It lands in front of Butte. And Brito has her second hit. She's been on base all three times. But they left a ton of runners on. You can tell this is a goal for them this game. Not fielded cleanly by Edwards, and everybody will be safe on the error. In the Houston area that have transferred in. As this is slowly rolled to second, Aguilar's throw to first is in time. Ella Parker will score on an RBI ground out by Kenzie Hansen, who's driven in three. It's like they were pitching free. With nothing to lose, they were just going at hitters. Speaking of going at hitters. There you go. <laughs> That's going at him. So core hit by pitch. Hits this one in the air to left, backing up, and just squeezing it is Lair Butte, who's now out in left field, and the inning is over. But the Sooner is able to plate six, and they'll take a 10-0 lead as we move to the fourth at Love's Field in Norman. You're not. This one smashed back up the middle. That'll be the first hit of the night. It comes in the leadoff spot from Lair Butte, who had grounded to second. Full count pitch to Thomas. Popped up. Shallow left. That's core. One away. And that's that deliberate spot I'm talking about. Get Her first time. Rollin, one of the transfers. This is her third stop. On her collegiate path as this one skims the glove of Hansen and skitters back to the back screen. Butte will move up a base. There's two games of that series. Still waiting on UCF and Baylor after Baylor ended UCF's winning streak last night. This is launched and we got a bat flip from Rollin as she sends one way out of here to right center field. That is a two-run home run. 
Man, I don't know if I have seen a ball go that far in this stadium. Everybody all around automatically goes, ooh, 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 ooh. that was a crazy home run. That was on replay on that one. <laughs> Here is Taria Coleman. She slashes one out into left. Third hit of the inning, and that's the first of the game for Coleman, who struck out back in the second. Image until Nicole May gets back in that rhythm. Take advantage. Bouncing ball to third. Brito cut it off. She'll go to second for one. Hodges' return is in time. That is the third double play turned in two games by the Sooner. Leo now playing out in right field. Ella Parker is the designated player at this point. And ball four to start the fourth. And I like the call. So being able to mix it up to where it's still unpredictable. Lined into left field by Boone, who has her second hit of the night and the 11th for the Oklahoma offense. Same two teams will wrap up their series tomorrow afternoon. That is a 1 o'clock first pitch. And then Oklahoma is off to Orlando to take on UCF next weekend. Easy to think about. You think about the last couple of series. In the air to left, and Butte has that for the first out. But OU going BYU, Houston. Houston. As you can relate, DJ. Fly ball to left, Butte under it, two down. I was going to say, I'm like, that's an interesting comment by <laughs> someone that's lived in the Houston area as long as Kristen <laughs> Vesley had. Being able to move your runners, keeping them still. In the air, shallow right field, and good communication. The second baseman, Aguilar, takes care of the final out. So Oklahoma reaches the first two. And that's big. That is big regardless of what the score is. Being able to have the discipline, and I do think that one did miss. Jordy Wilkins is the pinch runner at first base. This is bunted by Aguilar. May will throw down to second. Tiare Jennings takes the throw, and the Sooners get the lead runner. And in this situation. Repa lines this one. Diving in comes Hannah Kaur. It is a catch. The Sooners throw in behind the runner, and it's a double play to end the game on a run rule. Hannah Kaur. Now they're going to review this, so the Sooners are celebrating here. Quality at bats, hit the ball hard, score one run. Bases are loaded, and the lineup has been rolled over. So a pinch hit walk for Zekwa Duke. Poke to third. Up with it, Brito coming home to get the force play there as Hansen takes the throw. Monticelli, I like the location. High chopper, short hop play by Jennings, and the Sooners win it. Monticelli able to get out of a bases loaded, one out situation and finish it.